Mr. Bursalou Duvel. Merci, Monsieur le, le Président. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I liked some of the questions asked by my conservative colleague, and that brought to mind some when he asked whether you met uh, airlines very often over the past few months. Uh, I am reassured to know that you are in constant communication, but I would like to know if you had the opportunity to discuss with other groups like Air Passenger Ride and other consumer groups from the since the beginning of the COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. I am very aware of the situation with regard to that question. The reimbursement credits, because I receive lots of communications, particularly via social media, and because you also ask me very many questions about the situation, so I'm very aware of the situation. I understand you, Mr. Minister. I understand that the answer is no, you have not had the opportunity to meet them. That may be a good thing. This may give you ideas on how to better defend the rights of passengers. Talking about supplementary estimate A, there is no supplementary amount for the National Transportation Agency. I would like to know if there's enough money for the law to be implemented so that uh, travelers could finally be reimbursed for cancelled flights. Thank you for the question. We increased their budget compared to last year, and that was in anticipation of more uh, demands from passengers. And there are other issues, for example, accessibility, for which they have major responsibility. Certainly, the number of communications with uh, the board is higher than anticipated, but we increased their budget this year. Thank you. You would understand that I'm somewhat disappointed because the Transportation Board is supposed to be the organization that defends tra travelers and passengers. And this agency is giving, is authorizing the airlines not to reimburse passengers. It even gave airlines the right not to process any complaint up to a certain date when we know that flights were cancelled and when people finally had their complaints processed we hear that there are about 14,000 complaints pending it will take a long time for that to be processed so when a journalist Melanie Melki from La Presse put a question to you you did not even bother to answer it's someone else who answered and I quote, investigations would have to be, complaints will have to be investigated by airlines as they see it, as they see necessary. I would like to know if you would finally look into those complaints. I'm very interested because I hear about it every day and I'll make some adjustments in the way you described the role of the the board. It's a judiciary organ that is there to make sure that when there's a complaint, complaints are processed to make sure that airlines process the complaints while respecting all rules or regulations before they take decisions. So we are not there just to defend them but to make sure that the right decisions are taken when it comes to who is right and who has to be compensated. Another question I have for you, the credits that are given by the airlines, I wonder if they have any, if they are legal tender in this country, can we pay our taxes, for example, with these uh, travel credits? The interpretation of the rules concerning these credits and reimbursements are related to the rates of the airline companies. And the rates do not always mention reimbursement. So that those have to be read to find out if a credit or reimbursement is required. And that is something I encourage people to do. But my question is to know if travel credits are legal tender. 
I'm not talking about airline companies having the right to do that, but can we use that, for example, to pay our taxes? Is it legal tender, for example? Is it a recognized currency? I imagine the answer is no. Good question. I do not have an answer for you. I will come back to you on that. My next question. WestJet announced it will reimburse some passengers and they are not bankrupt, as you claimed that airlines may go bankrupt. Air Canada had $6 billion in cash at the beginning. Now they're at $9.7 million. So they have more cash, so they are not anywhere near bankruptcy. For Air Transat, they said that they are ready to reimburse uh, passengers if they receive some assistance from the government. So I wonder if the government intends to give them some assistance in the future. Would this depend on passengers being reimbursed? Let me give you a picture of the situation with airlines. All are considered. I'm not sure you mentioned all considerations. There are other airlines as well. At this point, the situation is that many of these airline companies are not operating at all or very little. So they really have almost no revenue. So the situation is very bad for some of these airline companies. At the same time, as I said, I expect the airline companies to do everything possible to compensate passengers the best way possible when the circumstances would allow because it's an obligation for them. At this point, given the situation, some programs have been introduced, the wage subsidy for airline companies, some are using it. Thank you. I think you've answered my question. Well, you said...